Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the first episode, we managed to defeat our first set of bosses, and I need to adjust my headset because it is deafening you. Anyway, let's go on a little adventure down this way, shall we? We should be able to find some nice little goodies here, some early goodies, no less. And through the power of emulation, we can speed this right up. So, let's head down, use the cannon, and grab the Basilard, which is going to be a pretty reliable weapon for early on in the game, I would wager. It's... I think it does more damage than the short sword. Actually, um, it does actually do more damage, and it has an absolutely disgusting attack speed, which we're going to enjoy. Now... We're going to be a naughty little sausage, and we are going to use a secret to get a better weapon soon-ish. But for now, this weapon is going to pretty much carry us through the next few rooms. Anyway, let's ride this beast all the way back up and jump off here. And we can get the sunglasses. Now, we're going to wear these sunglasses just because uh, they do give us one extra defense. Uh, they are apparently cool looking sunglasses. Well, I'll have to take the game's word for that. Uh, it does drop our, in, is that initiative down by one? I don't know what initiative does. So it doesn't matter. It gives us one more defense, like I say. And I'd rather have defense than some hocus pocus initiative any day of the week. So let's continue, shall we? Once more into the breach, dear fellows, once more. Now we're going to continue onwards to the Marble Gardens. No, it's the Marble Gallery. My mistake. And we're going to have a little look around, see if we can't find any goodies. Nope, doesn't look like there's a huge amount available. And I do love, as I mentioned in the last video, killing these guys. They have a very satisfying death animation. Which is just wonderful. Also, the sound effects for this game. They, ooh, no. No, no, no. We don't want that. I forget what that sub weapon's called, but I'm not a fan. Anyway, let's go take these guys out. Oof. Close but no cigar, Chief. Now, if we go down here. Ooh. We can get ourselves a potion. And we are going to indulge in that. I think potions just give you health. Oof, nope, don't want that either. That, I believe, is salt. Um, I haven't found that to be overly useful, I'll be honest with you. But that's not to say it isn't. As I say, I don't have, like, the best knowledge of this game. But we're learning together. Now, here we are, the Marble Gallery. And this area is just wonderful. I love the name, the Marble Gallery. It just talks of exuberance and luxury. Which you would expect from, you know, the Lord of Darkness's castle. I'm going to keep grabbing as many hearts as we can, even though I think we're maxed out. Yeah, we are. That's fine. Maxed out for now. Now, got a bit of a choice here. Ooh, yeah, it's fine. We'll keep the dagger, sure. And we're going to go down here and grab ourselves another Brucey bonus weapon. Or oh, actually, it's not a weapon, it's an item. Not super useful, but we'll take it, just because. And I've noticed that when you play these games, you get addicted to carrying and catching as many hearts as you can, even if they're not doing you any good anymore. <laughs> but that's fine. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. There's a lot of items around here that we can't get until we get some extra powers later on. And we have some mannequin dolls, but... They're not much to worry about, in all fairness. They don't seem to be much of a threat at all. The weapon up there, but we can't get it yet. We'll be back for that later. Evening! Sorry, ladies. It has to be this way, you understand. We're not going to go that way, though. That way is... We're going to have a bad time if we do. Now, up here is the Spirit Orb. Now, the Spirit Orb will allow us to see how much damage we're taking from enemies, I believe. Shows enemy damage. Uh, 
It's not exactly that useful, but we'll we'll get it for shits and gigs like. Now I don't know who created this castle, Dracula, I'm guessing. Um, but it's not uh, the most wheelchair accessible place. I'll say that. If you don't have a good pair of legs on you, you're probably going to have a bad time. Now, I'm sure Dracula doesn't want humans running around this place anyway, so I guess that's a moot point. So let's keep exploring. And I guess it's always worth smashing the fires anyway, because of course uh, we will find secrets and money and such. And you need a lot of money in this game, because when you go to the shop, items are expensive. Like, scary how expensive items are. But we've got another little save area, and it seems only right that we take advantage of that. Anyway, let's keep going. So our health is now up to 80, which is quite nice. We need to start making our way towards the library. We need to go talk to the library master. Now, as I said, as soon as we hit 20 minutes, we're going to be calling it a video. And luckily, through the power of save states, we can actually do that. Whereas on the Xbox, we couldn't. Now, these guys are called flea men or something like that. They're annoying. Really annoying. Hey, but he gave us a level. So I guess we should be thankful for that. Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Perhaps we will. Now, she's the woman that will come and save you. Um... In the beginning, when you're fighting Dracula, she will actually, if you get defeated by him, she will resurrect you and make you invincible. But we didn't need that. Because obviously, uh, if you died at that point, well, you're not going to be getting uh, too far into the game, are you? Right, uh, we're not going to use that weapon. I think the way you pick up secondary weapons in this game is kind of annoying. It's very easy to pick up a weapon that you don't want. But... You know, you do get a few seconds to go and pick up uh, the weapon that you dropped. You son of a bitch. Throw your bones at me, will you? And you, you little runt. Well, we shall use our leather shield and poke you in the eye. Just because. Oof, nasty. Now that's actually a slowdown time. Uh, it's incredibly useful, actually. You might use that for now. It's a very powerful uh, ability, which pauses time, I believe. Well, I don't know if it pauses time. I think it slows it down. Uh, it has different effects on different enemies, I believe. Now, the good thing about it is against weaker enemies, it kind of makes everything trivial. Against stronger enemies, they're not even phased by it. But I don't know whether that um, comes down to what level you are. Not 100% sure. Okay, so we can't go that way yet. That's fine. We need to get another item. Uh, I didn't realize how useful the shield was going to be either uh, until I started playing this game. And it's kind of ridiculous, especially for this early game business. Now, there are some magic spells that we can find, but they're very difficult. At least I find them very difficult to use. So we're not going to worry about them too much. Also, these guys look really intimidating, but they're not. So it's all good. Although this Basilard really does change the playing field just a bit. All right. Let's keep progressing. I mean, I don't know if I'm stabbing it in the face or if the face is the, the, the <clears throat> healthy looking lady up there. Uh, I don't know. But either way, they die with only a few stabs of this excellent weapon. <laughs> I like the way you just see her ass cheeks there. Like, has that woman been eaten by that thing? Or, I, I don't know what's going on there. And you know what, I'm not even gonna question it. Now these guys, these ivies, these things suck. 
they can actually stone you, like so. And then you have to wiggle the buttons to become unstoned. And yeah, the shield does not protect you against them either. Which, ah, these, I shouldn't have, <laughs> I shouldn't have demonstrated it, should I? Ooh. These things absolutely suck. Can't stand them. But they're not that tough, to be honest. They're just irritating. Later on in the game, you can just like one shot them and they're trivial. But we are not there yet. No, sir. Uh, that was bad. I don't think there's actually a dedicated up attack either, which is unfortunate. There's kind of a down attack. Now, when they open up like that, uh, they stop stoning you, which is great. And they will take considerably more damage if Alucard is going to cooperate with me, which is always questionable. Cool. Now, I don't think there's any more. <clears throat> you know what? We'll take the axe for now. And go through another one of these loading transitions. Okay, so the outer wall. This area is a little bit spicy, to be honest. But there are some nice little secrets here. Now, if we go through here, this will take us towards the library, I believe, which is actually where we want to go. But, before that, there are some stuff that we can do. Ah, yeah, we actually do need to go through there. That's a bugger. That's fine. We'll go down here. We'll risk it for a biscuit. Now, unfortunately, if we do die, we have to replay all of that uh, nonsense again. Which kind of does suck, not going to lie. But it is what it is. This guy is a penis. As you can see, he does an incredible amount of damage. So we're just going to whip his ass with these. Now, I don't think this guy actually respawns either. That actually works quite well. There we go. Just had enough hearts to kill him. Which is awfully convenient. Because in here, there's a nice little secret. We can get a pot roast. Pot roasts are healing items. However, they are not common. In fact, healing items in general are not common. Now, this is a nice little secret if we duck and uh, crouch here and wait for a little bit of time. We can get these disgustingly overpowered items early. It's not a cheat. It's a secret. We get the jeweled knuckles and the iron, uh, the mirror caress, sorry. Now, the jeweled knuckles are freaking ridiculous, to be honest. They do 27 damage and our weapon is doing 13. Usually when you find a new weapon, your damage goes up by a few points. Doesn't generally more than double. So we're going to hold on to that. And the, high, uh, the mirror caress actually uh, only does one extra point of armor, but it does uh, mean we cannot be turned to stone. Which is rather fantastic. Now, you can get this item later on uh, by turning into mist. There is a mist power, but we can get it way earlier. And it is such a incredible upgrade at this point. It's kind of funny. So we're going to be leaning on this thing. This will make our next boss coming up trivial. Which is fine. Now, if we come down here, it's kind of like a cool little scene. So, there is a bird's nest. And if we continue to visit this as the game goes on, you'll see that the birds, uh, or should I say that bird, meets another bird. They have eggs. And uh, after that, the hicks, uh, the, the hicks, the chicks will hatch. And it's kind of really cool. There's a lot of interesting little things like that in this game. Which just add to the charm. We can also look through these glasses. The spyglass. And that is the first time I have ever looked through this spyglass and seen something. I'm guessing you can see random things through there. That was death, I believe. 
or not death, but the boatman, growing his little boat. We'll be seeing him later. Ooh, we need to be careful of our health. We're really pushing the limits here. We're going to have to be very careful, otherwise that's a lot of progress that we we're about to lose. Now we can't go back up this way, sadly. We need to go back this way. Oof, critical. Yeah, any little, <laughs> any little thing is going to kill us, which is not fantastic. And our next save room is uh, not super close, I'll be honest, considering the health that we have. Now that night guy is not going to respawn. He's kind of like a special enemy, and I'm kind of grateful for that. There we go. Two hits on these guys. And another level. Fantastic. It's just what we wanted. Actually, I believe... Wait a minute. Ah, there's a save room here. Fantastic. We are absolutely going to overwrite our data. Because we have a boss to fight. The doppelganger. And he's annoying, actually. Can be tricky. But having this jeweled knuckle makes it so much easier. It comes through this like weird Stargate thing from the Nether Realm. He's not too bad. It was, he's going to take a couple of punches, but he is quick. Critical damage. That's kind of insane. Now, our Basilard at this point in the game, it's only gonna do around about, oof, around about five damage to him. <laughs> so with this weapon, we just body bagged him in two, or was that three hits? Now, to be fair, that is only because we've got this crazy weapon. If we were still stuck with our old weapon, that would not have gone quite as smoothly as it did. Now, we get the Gladius, which is the next uh, weapon in succession that we can get. But it's such a massive downgrade <laughs> from the Jeweled Knuckles, we're never going to use it. Here we have a lift going up, which we are going to activate. And it's going to act as a bit of a shortcut. We're going to enjoy that. So let's go do that now. We should have... Ooh, Donkey Kong. What are you doing there? Throwing barrels at me like a dick. Ow. That was, that was not the friendliest thing you could have done. A couple of knights. Now these uh, projectile enemies are really nasty. There's a particular room later on full of these guys. And they suck. I cannot put into perspective how much they suck. There's wolf form. We're going to be using that a little bit later. In fact, we're going to be using it pretty soon. Now this guy should be reasonably challenging, but sucks to be him. We have the jeweled knuckles. We're going to be fisting just about anything we find with them for quite some time. If we use this switch, we can activate the elevator. Okay. Now we can go up here, and we are going to do so because I believe... Yeah, up there, there's a save room. And that is where we're going to call it a video, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, not quite that one. Can't remember what's here. Ah, uh, the Bible. Um, can't remember how good the Bible is, actually. Or the Holy Book, as it is called. Right, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this with me, and I'll catch you in the next video.